Hi guys, my name is Emily. Welcome back to Junk Journal Inspirations. So, um, just fair warning. <laughs> um, if you watched my last video that just went up a few a little while ago, um, you'll know I've been having some technical issues. I um, got a new iPhone and everything is just a mess. <laughs> Um, I lost my screen sharing app. I can't find it anywhere. It's not in the app store. It is just nowhere to be found. Um, and so I had to get a new one and it has about a six to seven second lag, which is highly annoying. Um, but I'm trying to work through it to get this, you know, to get these videos done because they're a long time coming and I don't want to put it off any longer. Um, so I apologize if I have to sort of reposition often. Um, please forgive me and, and bear with me. Hopefully it won't be too bad. Um, I will also put, um, I will do my best to put timestamps in the description box of um, the start of each of these because there are four that I'm going to go through um, and you may be coming from Etsy and you only want to watch the flip through of the lap book that you're interested in and you don't want to watch all the others. So you can just look in the description box and find um, the approximate timestamp for each of um, each of the lap books. All right, so I have four of them um, and they are all uh, available on Etsy now. Um, you can find a link to my Etsy shop in the description box. These were all made with antique books for the covers. Um, I used um, Patricia from Le Cafe Crafts uh, technique for making them for the most part. I changed it up a little bit this time, just a tad. Um, and lots of Tim Holtz paper. They are named for the paper pad that I used for that particular lap book. So um, I have, I'm just going to start with one and then we'll just go from there. So let me move, let me move some of these out of the way. All right, we will start with Wallflower. So this one is called Wallflower. And um, it was, I used an antique Waverly novel, um, Sir Walter Scott um, uh, stories, I'm guessing, inside. Um, let me just double check how we're doing here. So the spine I covered with um, Tim, I think this is Tim Holtz fabric, I believe. Um, this is a an antique um, buckle that I just wove some sari silk through for the closure. And then I glued this down really well with um, Gorilla gorilla Glue uh, to hold that in place. You've got um, book or corner protectors. Um, I want to just point out um, that these books are very old. They're from the 1800s. So they are not in the best shape. Um, the corner protectors do help, but there is some, you know, I mean, they're old. <laughs> So they're not like brand new, but um, I like that. So I just wanted to point that out though. Okay, so let's go ahead and open it up. All right, just make sure. Um, I'm just gonna zoom in real quick. So if this makes you kind of ill, you can uh, just turn away for a second. All right, so this one is Wallflower, like I said, and um, the the one major change um, was the way I did this front cover. Um, instead of making, like last time we did um, like a faux envelope here, I did this, um, I love this pocket style. So I just wanted to incorporate that again. Um, so there's lots, okay, so there's, it, it's full of vintage and antique ephemera pieces. If I spend all day pulling them all out, <laughs> You you know you're you're gonna be here forever. So um, I'm gonna just sort of kind of pick and choose pieces to pull out for you so you can see them. Um, but you know there's there's it's just it's just stuffed full of um, all kinds of stuff that you could take out and use in other journals or projects, or you can leave it in here as a sort of collection. That's totally cool too. Um, so I used Tim Holtz pieces down here. I've got some fabric. Um, you know, behind, this is like a triple belly band um, kind of situation here. And then um, I did run some sari silk uh, through here. I have a little um, ribbon, um, or I don't know what you call it. 
I call it a ribbon edge punch because that's what I use it for, but <laughs> um, that's what I did there. And then you have lots of stuff in this pocket. And then there's a pocket um, behind here as well that I've added um, a couple vintage pieces to. This is actually an antique hardware store catalog card. Um, they're sort of fun. I've been hoarding them for a while, so it's time to uh, it's time to share. Um, and then there's some little pieces up here in this um, tiny little pocket. I used an antique dictionary um, page for the background. I keep in frame sort of um, and then this page has um, vintage um, I, I call them scantron forms or cards I they were for some sort of testing I'm just not sure what they were exactly used for um, or how they were used but they're pretty cool so you have three of those um, I have decorated them um, this one has an antique butterfly die cut um, Tim Holtz, this is also Tim Holtz, and I added some uh, fake flower stamens um, as the antenna. I've got a big Tim Holtz bee back here and uh, some cheesecloth. Um, this is Tim Holtz as well. A little index clip holding um, some antique stamps. Um, this piece here is uh, Tim Holtz ephemera and fabric and lace. Uh, Tim Holtz little um, phrase here, darling, you are a work of art. And then um, I stapled that all together. I added this um, little memo pin here. I glued it all down and then that stamp can be taken out um, if you so choose. All right. And we've got some, you know, you've got all kinds of stuff here to look at. Um, if you are interested in, and you want to purchase one and you really want to see everything that's inside, um, just send me a message and I can, I can send you like a, a, a private video or, or link, uh, you know, so that you can, you can see more of it. But basically you've got tickets and, um, pharmacy labels and other labels and game pieces and, you know, um, mailing labels and, there's some cigarette cards in here and that kind of stuff. Um, I've got an antique pen nib on um, on a, uh, whatever this is called, <laughs> bulb pin, sorry. <laughs> um, and then on the back, we have um, an antique flash card or at least vintage. Um, this is all Tim Holtz ephemera here, just to decorate that up a little bit. And then um, these pieces, are in the pocket and then that holds this closed this is an old um some sort of tag and then it flips down and you've got a vintage envelope back here that i stamped with some of my vintage stamps um there's a milk cap holding the flap shut inside you have a couple of vintage um, playing cards and then in the back is just more more fun fun pieces some tickets um this is from a roll of um ice cream labels i guess that i have it's not gummed on the back but it, there's it's really cool paper i love it it's sort of like um vellum maybe onion skin sort of it's just like thin paper um you've got a, a little lottery ticket here <laughs> that's from the 80s um, and that's an old made card in there and that kind of holds this shut. And then we have, um, a very large envelope here and I just tied a bow in this ribbon, um, and tied it around this Tim Holtz Brad. And then this is an antique Brad, um, that I just ran the uh, ribbon under. Let me make sure I'm in frame. Okay. And then um, you could actually tuck something under here if you wanted to. I didn't because I wanted to kind of keep all of the ephemera in the same spot in each of the four. Um, you know, just to kind of keep it easier for me to mass make. <laughs> um, but you could, you could put something in there. Um, in here you have an antique, I think this is um, an advert, no, this is a postcard. Um, there's uh, two, uh, this is a large flash card. Um, this is from a game of 50 states. Uh, there's a blank Western Union telegram in there. And then this large piece in the back, um, 
it's just a little difficult to, there we go, get out when I'm filming. Um, there's also another score sheet in here, but this large, this is uh, not English, so I'm not exactly sure what it says, but it's a really cool piece. There we go, put that back in there. I think there's some other little things in here too to check out. All right, so it'll kind of be a surprise if you purchase one of these. Um, it'll be a bit of a surprise as to what's inside. So you'll have some fun when you open it. Okay, and then I just wrapped one around. You could do whatever you want here, but I just wrapped it around once and then tied it in a bow. I hope you're all having a good day. We got snow here. Um, there we go. So it's it's a little dreary today. Okay, and then we have this fun piece. This is an old um, cost card for, uh, I think, Railway or something. I'm not sure. Whatever this guy did, Jay Fry, um, I've got these cards where how he spent his time, I think, is what it basically is. Um, and then this flips down. Uh, so you're not going to be, I'll just try and show you with the backside real quick. And then um, let's get back in frame. And then we have a little secret pocket down here at the bottom. Um, you've got a check and uh, 70s first day cover with this beautiful cardinal on it. Um, and then this little, um, I think it's like if you borrow, if, if it's like a, a book borrowing sort of uh, card to keep track of of maybe who has your books or, um, you know, that kind of thing, I'm thinking. Uh, this is a check from 1908. And then that just slides in there. Okay, and then this has a side pocket. I have a French wine label in there and then this old advertising card. Um, you know, it has a little bit of a tear on the side. Just, you know, it's it's all old. This is it, like antique old. Um, it's from 1896 or even before, you know, like, yeah, so it's old. <laughs> um, so not everything, you know, stays perfect for more than 120 years. Seems crazy that that's how long that is. But yeah, and then that opens up. Um, hopefully you can see. And then there's a pocket up here that I have put a bunch of stuff in. And then, come on, there we go. And then you can just tuck it in there if it's not going in all the way. And then on the back side here, well, sort of the back side and underneath. Um, you have a little pocket here with lots of stuff inside and um, a little notepad. I just put together a bunch of paper um, and used one of these little clippy things. So you can actually, um, I, I'm not sure that I did it for all four, but this one you can open up and take paper out. Um, I may have not, not done that for all four of them. I can't remember right now. Okay, and then... This is the um, sort of like memo French French board is what uh, Patricia calls it. Um, but I just added an antique photo in here. Um, some of my great grandmother's tatting. Uh, it's a cigar label. There's a um, flash card and a lotto card and some German measuring tape. And then I have um, a very old key down here dangling. And then on this side you have an old um, greeting card, another wine label. This is a strip uh, folded in half of a cigar box label, um, an old ticket, and um, an antique photo of uh, somewhere in New York City, I believe. And then just a vintage piece of um, applique there. And then this side, you have um, five little bags right that I stamped on and then um, these are Tim Holtz and then I just added these little 
swivel guys to hold these down and they all have something in them so like this one has an old bridge tally card and some ice coupons and um, so forth and they just flip up like this like so and then you will just flip these over to hold it down and then you have this big pocket here that is just uh, full of stuff. I have a whole um, book of saver stamps, um, some used and blank receipts. Uh, this is a just a flower card or a plant. It's not really a flower, I guess. Um, this is a or an invoice from the 1800s, uh, just a blank cigar sort of uh, order form, I guess. This is um, from that same guy, I think, that Jay Fry, I think I got a whole bunch of his like work documents and stuff. Um, and this was part of it. So it's from 1952, but I thought it was really cool. And it's got a blank space on the back. And that just goes in here. It does, I promise. <laughs> you know how it is. Well, maybe if you don't film, you don't know how it is, but if you film videos ever, you know how it is. Okay, so then this piece here flips out like this, okay? So we already saw this page, so now we'll do these two. So this is just a large envelope. I attached one of these Tim Holtz little swivel clips to it and added a Tim Holtz uh, metal uh, coin that says Artful. And um, I just did a little bit of you know, a collage piece or cluster down here. And then inside are all kinds of um, checks and things. So I'll just show you real quick. Um, you've got just all kinds of stuff in here. This is uh, folded in half here, or actually folded in thirds, this piece. Uh, I've got a large Spanish flashcard that you could alter or um, do whatever you'd like with. Lots and lots of checks, blank checks. And there we go. All right. And then that goes in here. Hopefully. <laughs> it's so difficult when I can't, um, like, I don't want to put my head over top of the, there we go. Okay. <laughs> All right, and that just holds that closed there. And then on this side, we have a lot going on. Um, this is a Tim Holtz, um, like, what's he called these? Baseboards, maybe? Um, I used a large brad to hold that, and that actually swing, swivels out of the way. You just have to kind of, you know, just, just take your time with it. You know, it's handmade, so... Um, just be careful. I just collaged on two envelopes here. Just, um, and then there's Tim Holtz paper on the back. And there's stuff inside, of course. And then there's this one as well. And that one has two vintage playing cards inside. Sorry about that. Now, uh, yeah, <laughs> technology. Oh, it's kicking my behind right now. All right, so I'm gonna do this standing up. So my voice probably sounds different now. <laughs> um, I was saying, um, this is just full of small pieces of vintage and antique, you know, ephemera. Um, I'm not gonna pull everything out because there's a lot there and it'll take forever. Um, but yeah, so that's that page. And then this whole thing lifts up and flips like this way and I'll show you what they look like first. Um, you've got two large folders, uh, accordion folders on both sides, but you can stand it up like this to get to all the papers inside. So um, just, you know, more of the same sort of stuff in here. Uh, this is a large ledger sheet that I just sort of cut down and folded in thirds. Um, I added this metal piece here. Um, I don't know what it was originally used for. It's just this vintage metal piece. 
Um, oh, this is, um, I used my custom made stamps by Lorna Taylor, Taylor made journals. Thank you so much. I love that. I just, um, I just used glue stick on this. Um, so it's not terribly permanent, but just so you have my name there. Um, lots of other pieces, lots more in here. Hopefully you can kind of see that. I don't want to pull everything out. It's just so much. And then um, this is also a vintage metal piece here um, that I just held down with a brad. And then you just fold this back over and that's it. So that is wallflower. All right, I will um, tie that back up later. Okay, and then we have um, dapper. This one is dapper and I used, um, again, it's an 1800s book, um, just a slightly different cover. This is also, um, sorry silk, but it's like in a newsprint, um, pattern. And then again, um, I've just got some fabric on the spine and another antique buckle, uh, some different book corners on this one. And then oh, I'll show you the back. It's got this really pretty design. And again, these are very old books, so don't expect um, perfection from them. You've got like some bending down here. Um, the book corners help, um, but you know, it's, it's old. Okay, so this was, it's basically the same exact things inside. Um, you know, obviously there's gonna be some difference, uh, but you know, I tried to pick all the same pieces and, you know, styles of things. So pretty much the same. Um, you've got a different ribbon running through here and, um, you know, some different collaging and stuff here. Um, again, um, same sort of thing. Another pen nib here. And again, these uh, Tim Holtz pieces down here. And then you've got your envelope. Okay, this one I used um, a Tim Holtz spinner as my closure. Um, this was a window Avery envelope that I used, um, a label envelope. So I, um, I left that open because I kind of liked how it looked. Um, you can't see it on the other side, but I sort of liked that. So I just left it. Um, same pieces inside. My sleeves keep flipping down, I apologize. All right, same thing here, just decorated slightly differently. Got, um, you know, your ephemera up there, little paper. Actually, this one um, I did the other way, so you can't actually take paper out, I apologize. I think I thought about that after um, I did it that way. <laughs> you still have your secret pocket down here. Always learning, right? Okay, this is the same, um, just a different photo. Uh, and you've got a, a slightly bigger um, key here. And then again, the same. And we flip out. And again, just, just be careful, you know, when you're moving these things. Um, but they, you know, they, they're pretty good. Um, you've got... Uh, I did, I actually put spinners on this clock face because um, I just thought it was fun. <laughs> I like interactive things. Um, this one says journey. Same stuff inside. And then um, here is your uh, folders, your accordion folders. Same metal pieces. Um, you've got that metal piece here and then uh, all your items inside. Okay, so that is Dapper. And then the next one is Memoranda. And, you know, same thing. Okay. Just, you know, old books 
just keep that in mind. I keep saying that because someone might only be watching, um, you know, one instead of a whole video because it is long. Um, same situation here. Um, one of them, maybe I didn't do that one yet. Um, I stamped the date upside down. <laughs> so I think it might be on the last one. Um, you know, again, I, it's the same, same basic construction, right? Um, I've got the pen nib here. Um, you've got your envelope here, your milk cap. Okay, and then this one has the wrap around again with the two brads. Okay. Like I said um, earlier, if, if you're watching this and you want more um, of a descriptive video on what is actually inside, just send me a message or comment below. Um, it was just too much for one video. So this flips down. You've got your secret pocket down here. You've got the side pocket. Pocket is on this side on this one. And then you've got items up here and then up here when you flip it up. And then here you can um, take these papers out and add new ones. Just remember, um, not all of them have that as an option. Okay, we've got this beautiful picture of this baby, some more of my great grandmother's tatting, other fun stuff in the back, another um, key, skeleton key of some sort. And then all of this fun stuff. You've got your bags that uh, flip up and are full. And you've got this pocket here that's also full. And then this flips out. You've got your big pocket. This one says, imagine. Um, I, I didn't decorate this one because I liked how that looked just by itself. Um, this piece swivels, just be careful. And then these pop up and they're full of stuff. And then you've got all of this stuff in here. I did stamping um, on those um, pieces that I used for the pockets. And then this is your file folder pages. Um, you've got that metal again. And then um, my little maker's stamp there. And then these are all full of fun, fun bits. Oops, sorry about that. All right. And that is Memoranda. Okay, and one more. Whoops. This one is French Industrial. And this book is um, brown instead of green. Um, and it is, it probably shows the most wear, I would say. Um, you know, you've just got some, you've got wear. It's an old, old book. It's from the late 1800s. So um, that's just sort of how it is. So it's got, you know, I like that. I think that's awesome. Book corners again. Um, another antique buckle and the newsprint, sorry, um, and some fabric here. Okay. All right. So here, um, actually, no, I don't remember which one it was upside down. Probably wallflower. Um, so that was the first one I did. So you've got your pen nib here, some other fun stuff. Um, I stamped the 232 here um, with some um, antique stamps that I have. Um, yep, you've got your uh, little three little tuck spots here, your pocket, there's another pocket, and then your little pocket up top. And then you've got this big um, vintage flash card here holding um, these items and then this flips down and you've got this envelope. Um, this envelope was slightly damaged at the tip. So I added a piece of Tim Holtz ephemera. I just chopped off um, the end of the envelope, just, just so you're aware. Um, pieces in the back there and then these hold, hold that down so it doesn't flop around. Another spinner here to hold this closed. I used an antique, um, or well, it's from 1932, so almost antique, um, French newspaper. I think I got from my friend Jenny. Okay, come on. <laughs> All right, 
<laughs> there we go. And then on the back, you've got your fun little flippy pocket. So this flips down. You've got a secret pocket down here. You've got a pocket here with fun stuff. Um, I did some uh, clusters on this page. And then you've got some stuff tucked up here. And then this flips up. You've got another little pocket up here. And again, you can take this paper out. Um, so it was just the one that did not have this option. Um, and I believe it was Memoranda. No, uh, it was the one before that, Dapper. Dapper does not have um, the availability of taking the notebook paper out and changing it. Okay. Um, again, same. This is my great-grandmother's tatting um, and some other pieces. Antique photo. Got a little key here. And some more fun stuff there. These pocket or these little bags I stamped and they um, flip up. And they're all full of stuff. And then these little uh, tabs just hold that down. You've got a bunch of stuff in um, this pocket here. And then this opens up and this one says inspire and you've got a bunch of stuff in this pocket here and that just is held down by that um, you've got your little flippy piece just be careful um, these flip up and they're full of items uh, vintage items um, and then you've got all that stuff there and then this comes oh, oops Sorry, sorry, sorry. I will do my best to get my tech issues under control soon. I apologize immensely. Um, you've got a little metal tag here and another little metal piece here. Um, and then this sits up like this and you can um, go through the accordion folders on both sides. And that is it. All right, guys, um, please, please forgive my... Um, technical issues. I will do my best to get that under control soon. Um, <laughs> you can find all of these um, listed in my Etsy shop now, um, and they're all ready to go. Free shipping. Um, I always offer free shipping for any orders of $35 and up um, to the U.S. I'm not currently shipping outside of the U.S. unless um, it's a custom request. So if you live outside the U.S. and you are interested in purchasing, purchasing anything in my shop, you can always send me a message. Um, the only reason that I don't offer it automatically um, is because Etsy doesn't do a great job of um, calculating uh, shipping outside of the U.S., in my opinion. Um, I like to do it on my own and give you um, the actual price. So it, you know, just, just send me a message and, you know, I'm always willing to work with you, um, you know, in the, in any way I can anyway. Um, yeah, I think that's it. So I will get my tech issues under control, hopefully quickly, um, and hopefully be back soon with some more, um, uh, let's play with trash videos because my box is getting, um, entirely too full of, um, you know, trash. So we'll take care of that. And yeah, I should be back soon. All right, guys, have a fabulous day. Thank you so much for watching. Um, and thank you so much for all of your comments. Um, I was just I, blown away by all the fabulous comments you guys, um, made on my, my, um, altered book Rolodex video. Um, the, gift for my mom. So thank you all for, um, for that. That was, that is, I love getting comments from you guys. I love reading what you have to say. So keep it coming. Um, and yeah, please give this video a thumbs up. Um, if you aren't already subscribed to my channel, I would love for you to stick around. Um, I do have giveaways, uh, now and again, um, as much as I can. I love giving stuff away. <laughs> so uh, hit that little bell so you don't miss any of my uploads. All right, guys, have a fabulous day. Stay safe and healthy. Warm, stay warm if you're in a cold place like I am. And I will talk to you guys soon. Take care. Bye.